Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about Eastside Torrance 13 Gang versus Harbor City Boys. During the late 80s, rival Eastside Torrance and Harbor City Boys renewed an old conflict. On February 26, 1988, Joseph Benzali was shot as he made a U-turn into the Normandale Recreation Center parking lot in Los Angeles. Ben Zali, who had moved recently from the neighborhood to Van Nuys, was there visiting friends. That murder case was ultimately dropped because there was lack of evidence. Harbor City insisted they did not kill Eastside Torrance gang member Joseph Benzali, but Eastside Torrance was not convinced. Several weeks after Benzali's death, police pulled over three Eastside Torrance youths who had a rifle and a shotgun in their car. One of the Eastside Torrance members said, you didn't get the killers, we are going to. That Eastside Torrance member, Robert Monroy, was charged with conspiracy to commit murder. The other Eastside Torrance members were not charged because they did not make incriminating statements. At approximately midnight on November 28, 2015, police responded to a report of armed with a deadly weapon at a 24-hour gas station located at 227th Street and Western Avenue in Torrance. No victim or suspect was present when police arrived. Police saw a gunshot hole in the rear wall of the gas station and blood next to it. Near one of the pumps, they saw two additional gunshot holes and three 9mm casings. They found one spent round, but could not determine whether it came from a 9mm or 45 caliber casing. The gas station cashier told police she was assisting a female customer at the window when a Hispanic man walked up with the skateboard and slammed it on the ground. A male Hispanic at the pumps pointed a gun and yelled, expletive that, I'm going to get that expletive, and fired three or four shots in the direction of the pumps. The cashier dropped to the ground and heard three more shots, possibly from another gun. A gunshot patient was being treated at Harbor UCLA Medical Center. The victim, Fernando Lozano, he had been shot in the left arm. Lozano was uncooperative and did not respond to any police questions. The gas station was equipped with more than a dozen motion-activated security cameras that recorded to a DVR. The video depicted Fernando's light-colored sedan arrive first and pull up to a pump on the second row, farthest from the cashier's window. The passenger side was next to a pump. Alejandro's blue SUV pulled through the lane adjacent to the cashier's window and turned around, parking in the lane between the two rows of pumps, with the driver's side next to a pump. Fernando walked toward the cashier's window. Alejandro looked to the rear of his vehicle and also walked to the cashier's window. A woman was already there. Alejandro appeared to be holding a firearm, but Fernando's hands were empty. The two men appeared to exchange words. Alejandro came back into view crouched by the hood and appeared to fire a gun toward Fernando's car. Police drove away. Fernando returned to his car and drove off. Although the video did not show the license plate of the SUV, police believed the vehicle belonged to Alejandro Jimenez based upon previous photographs he had seen of Alejandro's car. Police testified Alejandro Jimenez and the victim Fernando Lozano were from rival gangs. Alejandro Jimenez belonged to the Eastside Torrance Gang, and Fernando Lozano was a member of the Harbor City Boys Gang. Police later located Alejandro in a vehicle they recognized as having pulled over before. A high-speed chase happened. Eventually, Alejandro Jimenez was captured. The prosecution called Lozano as a witness. Other than stating his name, Lozano refused to answer any questions and repeatedly insisted, I don't know nothing. The cashier could not be located at the time of trial. Alejandro claimed self-defense. Lozano had prior convictions for firearm possession and carjacking. The gas station was outside the Harbor City Boys' territory. Lozano's presence meant he was there to put in some work. Lozano parked his car at the pump, mostly out of the view of the station's security cameras. Lozano approached the cashier's window with both hands in his pockets. Lozano, not Alejandro, was waiting with premeditation. When Alejandro encountered Lozano at the cashier's window, Alejandro believed he was in imminent danger of bodily harm. According to Alejandro, he ducked behind his car to fire the shots at Lozano only after Lozano fired first. Lozano lied about the shooting because Lozano was the aggressor in the incident. Alejandro Jimenez was charged with attempted murder, but despite all of what you heard so far, 
Alejandro Jimenez was convicted of attempted voluntary manslaughter. Alejandro Jimenez from Eastside Torrance was sentenced to 37 years to life in state prison.